All right, I'm picking up where I left off, and here is the kit. In actuality, it's a semi-kit. And the reason why I call it a semi-kit is because you don't populate this board. I populate the board. And believe it or not, I can populate the board in less than an hour or about an hour. Um, and I want to make sure things are done right, and I want to prove the circuit uh, before it goes out the door. And so making a semi-kit is one way for me to do it, and it gives you people the opportunity to have a high-powered PEMF with very little uh, electronic work. And everything will be pretty much either dangling off or it will be easily uh, available to connection. The only things that I really leave uh, dangling are the two AC power lines. And if you know the convention for AC, uh, the one with the stripes or grooves on it is always the ground of a um, power line cord, AC cord. And the smoother one is uh, always the hot line. So um, I have the plug on here. Obviously, they came from an extension cord. The wide slot is ground, and the narrow slot is um, uh, the hot wire. And if you look at the cord, and you just notice that the narrow, I'm rubbing my finger against it right here, that side um, corresponds to the narrow, the hot side of the plug. And the ground is the one with the uh, serrated or grooved edge, uh, grooves on the edge. And that's the ground. I follow the same convention. So this is the output of the, uh, this, of the um, kit. Uh, it's got multiple plugs because you can actually run multiple coils. Um, another video, another time. Um, and it's uh, soldered here. And I do all that so I can test the unit. I want to know that this thing works. Um, it's got these pigtails are open, and you'll see me connected up in a minute. Here's the um, this resistor here. Get my fingers out of the way. That green is a 100 ohm, uh, 100 watt resistor, and that's used to um, ensure that the SCRs are fully uh, loaded and fire uh, properly. Uh, they need a little bit of load, so I provide that load with this resistor. And here's a cap, and this is a 1500 microfarad cap. The software uh, on the Arduino was designed, all the timing is very critical. So if you change the cap, um, it's conceivable that you have to change the timing for it to, to optimize the unit. Uh, 1500 is uh, 1500 microfarads. This is a lot smaller than the one on the finished off unit, uh, but it works just as well. Um, it just it won't have as many hours of life in it. Uh, those two big caps probably could run for 10,000 hours before they finally finish uh, and wear out. This guy might only run for a few thousand. Uh, and plus it gets a little warmer uh, because there's not as much, much uh, mass to it, not as much uh, uh, foils and so forth. This is an aluminum uh, electrolytic. Uh, the switches are already wired, so you don't have to do that. And they're just dangling here. Uh, the pigtail for the, um, um, what do you call that? A fan. <laughs> Reach over. Pigtail for the fan. It's right there. They, they match up. Uh, there's a pigtail for the 12 volt power supply. And if I haven't shown it already, here's the 12 volt power supply. And that's part of the kit, the 12 volt power supply. And anything else? Um, start button. There's an LED dangling off here somewhere. Wherever that is, it's a fell off. There it is behind the switch and the LED. They're all dangling. So you think, well, gee, the kit's all built. Um, not really. Uh, you'll probably have to disconnect the um, green 100 watt resistor to mount it in a case and then reconnect it. Uh, this cap may or may not be screwed on. Uh, there is color coding. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a little PEMF telling you what the color codes are. Um, white wire stands for hot with a stripe. It tells you whether it goes to the cap, goes to the resistor, or goes to the out plug. Um, and that's pretty much it, except for the Arduino. And there is an Arduino. It's on its own little circuit board. And it'll probably be in a socket on the boards that I go out as a kit. This one is not. It's soldered right to the back of the, the, the motherboard. And the Arduino is basically... Uh, a PC board on a PC board.
but on there, there's a lot of support hardware for the uh, Arduino microprocessor, reset button, and LEDs, and so forth. All right, so let's connect this up. Um, let's go with power first. I'm not going to be using um, this guy here, which is a little power supply. I'm going to use a 12-volt module, and I'll shift the camera. You can see it there, that little black guy right there I'm pointing at. Is a 12 volt uh, wall module or what they call a vampire module. And I have an adapter cable. I'll plug it in here. I'm going to turn the power off before I plug everything in. And I'm going to connect the pigtail off the motherboard that's designed to connect to the 12 volts. And there it is, it's there. And I'm going to connect the pigtail that's designed for the fan. And yep, you can see what I'm doing. I'm not in the way. And now the fan's connected. And I made up a cord with a fuse, inline fuse in it. Um, and I'm going to plug that in. It's got a couple alligator clips. Plug that in. And I'm going to connect ground to ground. Uh, that's the hot wire. So I'm going to connect hot wire first. And I'm going to connect ground to ground. That's the ground wire. Um, AC line ground wire. Connect that. I'm going to take the fan. I'm going to put it on top of the heat sink so they'll keep nice and cool. Okay. Coil is going to plug into the output right here. Uh, where are we? There we go. Coil is going to plug into the output. You'll see it in a second. My big cans are in the way. So the coil's plugged in. This wire goes out to the coil. And there's the coil. You can see the wire going out there. And what else? Nothing else. Make sure there's nothing touching and we're safe. We're in a safe operating mode. Now I'll test the unit. Make sure that it actually works. And that's what you'll get. Uh, you'll get some support hardware. Um, the, can, uh, the, the, the fan won't be connected and cap won't be connected. Um, and you'll have to put um, a switch on here, which I will, which is part of the uh, circuit. There will be a switch included, a lighted switch. Everything that was in that assembled unit will be in the kit, but the case will not be cut out. It'll just be a blank box. So um, I'll take pictures of, uh, of this box so you can get to see uh, where the fan was and so forth, but it'll be a blank box. Get it in view. Okay, get this out of the way. We're all connected and ready to fly and just checking and looking around. All I have to do is turn on the power. Uh, can you see that LED? Oh, let me get this uh, a little further over and watch that LED register uh, when I hit the power button. Okay, it came on. The LED registered and the fans running. I can see it running. I can hear it running. Coils connected and here's the stop button. I'm holding the start button right now. I, I'm going to dial the Red dot one, which I know is speed. I'm going to dial it all the way up to position one, number one. And I didn't demonstrate random, but I'm going to demonstrate random now. I'm only going to run it for a minute. So I turned that counterclockwise. So that's in position one, two. So the, the, the time and the speed uh, are both in their one position. And now I will grab the start button and just press it. And look at that light. You'll notice there's a random flashing. It's cycling through all the various speeds uh, that the unit's capable of. It's capable of doing one through five hertz and everything in between. Um, one, two, three, four, and five. And it's just randomly changing its um, pulse rate to uh, help eliminate habituation. What else is there to say? All right, so. This is the kit. There'll be a box, um, support, uh, there'll be mounting screws and everything else, but it's not mounted. It's in pieces. You could mount this on a piece of wood and it would be uh, uh, workable. 
You definitely want to have a fan aiming at the uh, two heat sink uh, SCRs. And that's pretty much it. So you got a, a basic understanding of, of the PEMF as a whole. I'll do one last video and it'll show some wave patterns. Um, I'll connect the scope up to it. Okay, so I only ran it for a minute. I was talking that whole minute and it finished. Uh, it timed out. I said, okay, I, I ran for a minute. And of course, I could have dialed in uh, 30 minutes if I wanted to. But we're not doing a 30 minute video. So, all right, that's the end of this video. And um, uh, the website will have uh, the do all the documentation you need. And if it doesn't, uh, send me an email and I'll uh, make sure that I get it on the website. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, last video coming up and I'll show you a few scope wave patterns of this very kit. Might be turned around so I can orientate the pro pro probes and everything, but you'll get to see that in a few seconds.